The cleanup in Copper's Cove after the EF2 tornado hit the town earlier this month is still underway, but a new team of assessors were in town today to get a better look at the damage. Copper's Cove city officials are still accepting brush and branches until the 28th to help out where the areas that were damaged in the storm, as long as folks provide proof that they live within the city limits. Fox 44's Kendall Green was in Copper's Cove to learn about the assembling assessment rather being made and conducted after all of the damage. Hey, Kendall. Hey, Adam. The Building Officials Association of Texas sent the disaster response team to do a preliminary damage assessment in Copper's Cove where the EF2 tornado struck earlier this month. These officials came out today to be able to assess the properties in that area to make some sort of a determination of the scope and the magnitude of the destruction that has taken place. The Building Officials Association of Texas completed a compiled assessment and submitted it to Coppers Cove city officials for review so the city can get a dollar amount of damage to send to the state and federal government. The response team from BOAT were looking at a number of variables in their assessment. They looked at the number of houses that were damaged in the affected and declared area. They were looking at the extent of the damage. Uh, it is understood that some of the damages may have already been repaired or are being repaired. Along with their report, they looked at a list from the city that included the number of damaged homes originally reported. Because of the fact that a damage assessment has been done, it does not in any form, fashion or otherwise guarantee that there is going to be any state or federal funding available to any of the property owners or homeowners in the area. Gary Young, Carpers Cove's deputy fire chief, warns that an analysis of damage doesn't necessarily suggest government compensation. Once that information is all reviewed, if there is funding opportunities available, we would let folks know. But right now we have no guarantees that any funding opportunities might be available at all. The city should complete their review of that report by the end of the week. Adam.